The NFL championship game is tomorrow. Football parties and lots of food on tap. The National Retail Federation says 45 million people are hosting a party to watch it. Bars and restaurants can also expect a good turnout with 12.4 million people planning to do that. Alex Herbal takes a look at how people are preparing. Alex? Aloha, Kathy. Yeah, a lot of eyes are going to be glued on the TV. Now, most of the people we spoke with told me they are going to a party to watch the game, and businesses told me they stocked up on things like beer, chips, and meat. How do you guys prepare for, uh, you know, a big game like tomorrow? Lots of drinking. Okay. And what about the... The roast pork is ready for kickoff, and it's a fan favorite here. Thanks, Thank you, man. Thank you, Rosie. Here, Alicia's in Kalihi. The manager told me they're expecting tomorrow to be the busiest day of the year for them. They actually compare it to New Year's Eve, where they make four times the regular amount that they usually do. They're not usually open on Sundays, but they will be open tomorrow. We have been getting ready for the past week, getting our orders ready, getting, making sure that we have enough food, making sure that we order enough from our vendors. At Costco, people are in the zone, not getting phased by the crowds and filling their shopping carts with the goods. Beer for the Super Bowl. And it's a team effort for this family to get the cases into the truck. So no need to rush around tomorrow. Americans will spend an average of $75 for a total of $14.1 billion to watch the Atlanta Falcons face the New England Patriots. That's according to the National Retail Federation. Spending is down from an average $82 last year. Foodland managers tell me they're stocked up on extra party supplies as well. Ooh, that looks good. Robin Sarcita did most of the shopping on Saturday. What are you looking forward to the most? Is it the game, the commercials, the food? Actually, both. Yeah. both all, everything. Just the whole day. It's like a holiday. He's ready to see some touchdowns, the halftime show, and likely take a little time out from work the following day. So you're calling in sick on Monday? Most definitely. <laughs> Gosh, you never hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All the extra eating includes 1.3 billion wings across the country. That's according to the National Chicken Council. Apparently, that's enough to circle the earth three times, just in case you were wondering. Alex Serval, K2NT News.